Today we're going to be reacting to Can You Get Masters Without Armor by His Watson and looking at three things His Watson does to be able to solo queue masters whilst doing these crazy challenges. Now two of these things are pretty straightforward and obvious but one of them is kind of underrated and a lot of people don't really talk about and you'll see as we watch through this video exactly what his Watson does and how he does it to manage to solo queue to masters whilst doing ridiculous challenges. So let's get into it. In a world overrun by cheaters, one man takes it upon himself to complete the ultimate challenge solo to masters with no armor. Thanks for watching. Nice. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a great, like, a great intro. And that was just a random player. I feel like that sets the tone for this. I feel like a lot of people complain about their random teammates being terrible in ranked, and that's why they can't rank up. I think this is a good no starting way. point. All right, here this we go. Will be a first and probably the only for a long time. You well, can drop armor while flying in. Really? Here we go. The very first game. Oh, yeah. Bronze. <laughs> obviously, the yeah. bronze lobbies. You can make mistakes. Not a big deal. Let's see how he plays. I think it's just gonna be mostly highlights of uh, games here at the beginning. Petition for no helmet. You mean to take my helmet off? Yeah, I'm gonna die in literally one <laughs> No helmet too. <laughs> Rip. Does he stick with that for the whole challenge? I don't know. Gone for a longbow R301. Now this was the last season, uh, so the R301 obviously was a bit more powerful. I'd assume now he'd take like the Nemesis. Maybe it's still the R301 though. It's still a beamer. Nothing really to say about the bronze games, really, is there? But once we get into the higher lobbies, absolute beam of it, though. Look at that. Look at how he's uh, standing right now. I think this is really important. Like, just uh, not necessarily a skill, but just something that you have to learn, right? You have no health, so how are you going to win fights? This is a perfect example. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Here. This here is like the bread and butter of how not to die in Apex Legends. Have cover have cover just be in cover at all times if you're not in cover think about how you can get in cover so that you can peek and re-peek safely like i feel like too many people myself included get into situations where we're just out in the open of course you're gonna die and like survivability is so important to being able to like win this right yeah like there you go if he gets shot at he can go straight into cover you guys think i'm trolling this is gonna be easy <laughs> he got oh ellen shards on his smoke <laughs> Uh, he died. Help. He died. I can't trust my teammates until at least plat. Until then, I need to pretend like I don't have teammates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, there is a certain level of like, let's say you are a diamond or master player, like you do have to carry your own weight at least till like things get a little sweatier. But then I think what you'll see in this video as you transition into those later stages of ranked, teammates aren't so bad. And I feel like there's one thing we're gonna see here, right? Number one thing I just talked about already, positioning, right? Super obvious, have cover at all times. Think about how you can use cover to always stay safe and ha increase your survivability. That's going to help massively. But I think as we get into like the plat games here, we'll start to see communication. And how important that is and how no nobody, nobody communicates with each other. And uh, that's probably one of the major reasons why solo queuing is a beam. A beam, okay, a beam. Absolute beaming. Arkstar, he's all on his own. It is bronze, but you know, he's just beaming. No armor. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, let's make the camera a little smaller, shall we? Wait a minute. There we go. It's just running through people. Oh my god. No! Uh, <laughs> Still beaming through bronze. So obviously, get through bronze and silver. Uh, all you need is aim and positioning. You don't even need armor. You need good aim and positioning. Aim can be practiced in mixtape. You can literally get good aim. Anybody can. All you got to do is go play a bunch of mixtape, and you'll have good aim in no time. That you don't know. You don't need to put in thousands of hours anymore to get good aim because you don't have to play BR. You can just play mixtape constantly. Warm up. I've been saying this for a while, but I feel like 10 to 15 minutes per day, if you can, if you can put the time aside, you know, yeah, if you're serious you. about trying to rank up, 10 to 15 minutes per day in mixtape, your aim will improve drastically within like, you know, space of a couple weeks. It really will. That's all you need. 
if you can get more time in, that's great, but the consistency that's going to allow you to stay warm and improve. Once again, you're seeing this positioning here. He's just always sticking to cover. Like, it's obvious, but people forget it. Oh, you just dropped all your cells. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Berlin. <laughs> Did people land here? Still, still yeah, bronze at the moment. So he's, he's getting through, uh, so far, two of the things we talked about, right? Positioning, super important, but just aim. Positioning is something that you can learn. Positioning is not a skill. Position is something you learn, right? That's a good, good little movement there. I guess movement's somewhat important, but I'd say it's the least important thing. <laughs> Mr. Burner, did you drop shields too? God dang. This guy's on the... <laughs> this man's insane! How come you're not playing with a shield, man? Just ask him. You only use a shield if you think you're not good enough to kill somebody at a disadvantage. If you need an advantage to kill somebody, you're bad. Circles, <laughs> your voice is really soothing. Can you say, uh, coming this fall? Coming this fall. <laughs> coming this fall to a theater near you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's amazing. That's so good, bro. I should make this guy do the intro to my YouTube video. Oh my god, this is such a good idea. Hold on. Yo, bro. Okay, I want to be honest. I'm making a YouTube video. Can you say the intro? Solo to masters with no armor. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's amazing. Dude, the teammates are just making this. I think that's important. We're going to look at that later when we get to like flat level, right? Jeez. You may watch this and feel like, ah, oh, he's a he's god, he has there. so good aim, but I'll never have good aim like him, and let's be honest, we won't. We, we're not going to have good aim like him, right? We can accept yeah, that, but we low, don't need low. to have good mega, aim mega like low. him, because he's doing it without any armor, right? We're at least going to be able to get to Mars. If you want to get to Masters, you can still yeah. do it without armor. I just realized it's all the same thing. Uh, we can do it with armor, so we can have... A little bit better aim than we have right now. Like that's what we should focus on, right? Improving aim. Uh, over time. Focus on positioning. And we're already seeing the comms here. We're seeing the comms. This is the third thing I want to talk about. Voice comms. Look at how Watson uses his comms to encourage his teammate to push. All right. Don't just listen to the things he's saying, but listen to the way he says it, alright? We're gonna just tune into this now. Over the next few games, we'll see it in action, I'm sure. Who's on my left? <laughs> oh. Wait for the comms, don't happen and you'll see what I mean. Damn it, got DC'd. All right, kill for two. Bear with me, it's just aim like laser beaming compilation at the moment, but I want to point out the, the third thing here. There, there. Bro. there we go, there's the first one. Down one. See, just like one little call out there is something that a lot of people just don't do. I guess we're playing without body shields. Yeah. <laughs> only, I mean, the only reason you use a shield is you think you're not good enough to kill somebody without one. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, good I'm, I'm not good enough. You're taking the steps necessary. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. My uh, fucking army, dude. Nice. They're actually sticking to it with no body shield. Push, 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 push. <laughs> oh, the aim's coming oh, out there with I the D7 on. scout. Popping off. He's pushing, they're going at it. They have no body armor, it's hilarious. Oh, the bubble oh, ran out, those bubble Lord. climbing! Wow. Hit him for 100. <laughs> uh, that horizon's oh. really low. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Just having good energy and talking to your teammates and not being yes. like, oh, uh, bro, come, come grab a shield, bro. Yeah. Get over here right now. Dude, look, look at these yeah. arms. That's exactly what I'm talking about, right? You build the synergy of your team, you actually communicate with them. It's It just takes a little bit of effort. Like, a lot of people don't want to do it. They don't want to say anything, and that's why you lose RP, because it, it, it does get draining when you get people who just don't listen to you, or you get people shouting at you, or whatever, but you have to carry the vibes. Like, you, if you can't carry your team with pure skill, 
then you have to carry the vibes and and the team synergy will come even if they're just complete randoms even if there's a language barrier you can still do it that is how you rank up advertisers advertisers want to see like absolute demon with a flat line and the r301 weapon choice is interesting going for a lot of r301 I know that he did this again with an even crazier challenge. I think I saw a lot of R9s and Nemesis's, is and it? the occasional R3 one, even though it was nerfed. So it's still a good choice. It's just, he's just a laser beam, isn't he? Nice. So let's see. It's going to be really interesting to see how the games evolve, right? Right now, it's a walk in the park for him. Even with no armor, it's silver bronze gold it's not too hard but once we get into plat and diamond he's gonna have to really carry his team in terms of cool outs and, and just keeping the team vibe high right so let's uh, i want to see as we get to plat like how things evolve in terms gold, of the way he okay. plays gold players watch out <laughs> we go gold land on a spitty but he makes it work I like the way that he's hip firing and uh, like ADSing. The Spitfire is a nasty weapon to uh, ADS with, but if you keep hip firing and ADSing, you have good aim and you can actually see what you're aiming at. <laughs> nice tracking with the wingman. <laughs> you don't even know he's there. <laughs> oh, dude. It's not. The fuck's going on over there? I'd be so mad if I had Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Tons of RP. Yo. Hey, bro, listen. You're good at the game, you wouldn't be dead right now. Oh. <laughs> this is the best time we ever. Oh my god. Yo, yo, he's getting zipped on. Can't wait. We're, we're just grinding through gold right now. That's, I, I'm really interested to see how he does bat onwards. Or oh, more, more so diamond, though, but really interesting to see how he plays. Apparently, like, the experience from diamond was really hard. I mean, no surprise. <laughs> nice. Alright, here we go, Platt. He'll beam in. Look at this. Look at the way he's always looking at trying to make sure he's in cover. The way he's rotating. Being smart about it. He's never going out in the open. Always thinking about how to get into cover, right? That number one tip positioning. Yo, there's just people everywhere. Oh, oh dear. He has a head glitch there, absolutely I know, I know, I nasty spot. That's a huge... Nah, at this point, like, even at this point, we haven't seen all the Oh games. my god! The god Whoa. fuse, bro! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. So I just want to say one there, like, that sort of, like, hype... Like, he's being the hype man for the team. Like, I feel like we don't get to see it much yet, but... He's calling this out in chat, like, oh my god, Fuse, this is so good. Like, hyping up your team, giving them positive vibes, giving them energy to actually feel confident and happy to play alongside you. Like, that is the missing piece. I really do feel like it's not just giving comms and call outs. It's like being confident and happy and spreading that energy, and it actually helps your team do really well. Oh, sorry. There we go, flat two. Yo, there we go. So many Newcastles is coming across. It's crazy. What's this Newcastle season? <laughs> Double wingman headshot. Spear rocks down. Oh, that was cheeky. Waiting, waiting for the opportunity there. Made it work. Horizon's one. Call out. Horizon's one. Obviously, nice easy call out to make. A lot of people still don't do it. The amount of times I play solo uh, ranked and nobody talks at all. It's popping off of every gun though. Like, let's not get it straight. N n a normal player couldn't do this. His Watson is incredible at the game. Like, you know. But let, look, he's taking a massive handicap. We can still learn outside, from this. Right Improve one. your aim. Make sure you're thinking about positioning at all times and try and keep the vibes high. And you're good to go, right? Let's see how he deals with diamond games. This is going to be interesting. That's where a real challenge comes in. He's got 14 kills in flat with no armor. That's nuts. Almost a 4K. Oh my God, bro. Jeez. 
This just shows you the skill gap there is in these <laughs> in these oh, ranks. Boys. <laughs> that is uh, uh, mind blowing, dude. This, in my opinion, is like it, it it's historic. It's on the same level of uh, uh, uh sorry, it's Timmy doing uh, solo to Pred in one sitting. It is that crazy. He has no armor. You don't also realize that when you have no armor, you get flinch. Every shot you get shot at, your your aim jolts like that. A lot of people don't realize that. So this is like, after doing this, he's got to feel like, oh my god, <laughs> anything one. is possible in rank. Octane, <laughs> where is your shield, my guy? Yeah, where is your shield? You don't have a shield on. Octane, where is your shield? Octane, where is your shield? What? Oh, I don't have a shield on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hilarious, dude. Love it. He's just going for it. My lord. <laughs> Almost diamond. How are the diamond games going to be? How is he going to get through diamond? Oh, dude. Seems like it's been a walk in the park, though, up, up until diamond. <laughs> Nuts. I honestly feel like as long as you practice your aim enough, uh, you can carry you can carry the g the the game, the randoms on your team through vibes and aim. It's all you need. <laughs> Smart to take the RE45 as, as soon as he can get it, because I mean, you know, he's creating a. a He's making it Let's more go. even, right? Okay. He's, he's he doesn't have a shield, so he's got to do anything he can to get rid of their shields as quick as possible. Hey. All right, diamond. Let's see it. Let's see it. This is diamond where the fun four. begins. Yeah. Where it's gonna be hard. Surely, surely this is where he finds difficulty. I'm really curious how he managed to get. I killed two out. of them. You can drop down and res him. Out of diamond. There, that's the cool. I killed two of them. You can drop down and res him, right? That's an important play. IGL mode activated, right? This is where callouts really matter. I feel like that's the Come only on. thing he can he can do. Super lock in the callouts, making sure he's giving information as much as possible. Because at this point, the players, they're good, you know? They're going to have decent enough aim that you're not going to be able to just roll through people with no armor. I hit 11, bro! <laughs> I hit 11 five times! <laughs> oh. Being, dude, the tracking's insane. It was like millimeters off just one clipping that guy. Crazy. Oh, poor audio cue. Heard that. Knocked them. Crazy. Look at the way he's not like pushing anything until it's the right moment for it. He's just holding the cover, dealing as much damage as he can first, right? Oh my lord. That was nuts. Just going through Diamond 4 like it's nothing. Present 1! Fight for Horizons, Gravel, they've got nerfed. Give me one. Yo. Let's go, good job, good job, good job, good job. Crazy, dude. Oh, here's an important thing as well. Like, once you get into these higher ranks, you're going to see the same players again and again. So if you curse them out or give them bad vibes, they're going to remember your name and they're not going to... They're not, they're not going to treat you well the next time. So, like, even if you have a good game of a player, don't just think, oh, it's over now. Like, keep the vibes high like he did. Good game, good game, you know? Like, then you're going to feel happy to see that player in your lobby again instead of just thinking, oh, it's that jerk that, like, you know, cursed me out for taking my armor or whatever. Like, you have to keep the positivity up, you know? And I think it's clear to see here. Okay. Right, you can have diamond free. Once again, not as many kills now. You can see the kills have slowed down. He's not dropping 20 kills, 4k damage games anymore. It's uh, a lot more tactical. You can tell that as soon as you get to diamond, the strats have to change. You've got to play patient. You've got to play strategically. You've got to take every KP you can, but play safe, first and foremost. They obviously got the, the god spot here, this ring. All right. Right, I, I feel like ring placements and positioning, like end game positioning, doesn't really matter until you get into super late Go stages. Then. You know, obviously, if you had a three stack, you could just WP everybody. But if, if you're if you're struggling, 
But I would say at Diamond, then you do need to start thinking more about positioning. Like, late game, end ring positioning, you know? Oh. That's nuts. Smelly boy is struggling. Look at this, though. The patience. Like, I, I would just jump down at this point. <laughs> Out of impatience. But he's patient. They're queuing up on the roof. No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're queuing up on the roof. No, they're not. Okay. Oh, that's great. We're coming, we're coming. Oh, uh, last one's weak. Purple in the corner. He's in the shield as cover. Nice. <laughs> Look at how he's using cover here. Just that tiny little rock. The, the elevation in the terrain. He's using that as cover. That's what you got to think about. Cover all the time. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You got to use it. You got to be smart. He basically created a head glitch out of a, a, a piece of dirt. You know what I mean? He created a head glitch out of a mound of dirt. That's what you have to do. That's why, like, what I mean when I say positioning, right? It's so important. More important than good movement. Oh my god, bro. Finally, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. 501, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously Only struggling. Only three more of those games, and I'm masters. Ooh. You gotta go, you gotta, that's the thing, right? It's gonna be stressful. It's easy to lose vibes. I'd say at the moment you just can't keep the vibes up. Maybe you, you gotta take a break, right? Break one. Come back. Vibes are stronger. Keep the positivity. Nice. You know? Got the RA again. You can see the kill count dropping again, though. Like, it's not. It's, the, the play style obviously has to change when you get diamond. <laughs> oh, rip. Just squad wiped within seconds, dude. With no outside, armor, he took outside, like 20 outside. HP. This will be a juicer. This will be a juicer. It's a solo, it's a solo. <laughs> nice. We're seeing the default hemlock right now. I think Nox up here. Okay. <laughs> Chasing Someone people knocked. down with an alternator of all things. <laughs> it just makes it work. It's crazy. This is in inspiring. Like, if you feel like you've reached a skill ceiling, uh, no, you haven't. You know what I mean? Like, you can improve well, on the right team. everything from raw aim to movement. Like, everything can still be improved. Uh, this inspires me to feel like, hey, I can still get better at aim. You know, and that may make the difference. Nice. To allow me to, you know, get to right, Master's quicker. I'm in one. I killed Seer. I wonder how many here. games he played. Does anyone know how many games it took him? Sure is. Right must have been a lot of struggling. Nice. Tracking on the Chadra. Off and off. Nice. Back low. Rising crack. Lohan almost cracked. You gotta be diamond one. This is the diamond one game, right? <laughs> You're good. Q, Q, Q. Yeah, cool out there to make sure Wraith is safe and takes the right play. That's a 1v2. There it is. Nice. Look at the way he's playing here. Takes damage, instantly goes out of cover, waits a second. You know, he's not just holding angles. He's making a port. I feel like that's important, like increasing your survivability by just positioning, right? right. So I don't know how many more job. times I can say it, but hey man, I really yeah. Your positioning, I really you carrying, improve you know. your aim, vibes, good vibes, right? Voice comms come under the good vibes I category. thought it was Lopa, bro. <laughs> I'll try to do exactly what he just did. This could, be the game. this could be the game where you all type, I was here. He dies. I feel it. He's going to die after all his name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. No, he survived. Okay. The benefit of not having armor is Arkstar's not going to do as much damage. <laughs> cool. Legendary. It's actually going to pull it off. Oh. It's so crazy to see. It really, really is. Like, Check Bangalore. Uh, I feel like if he can do this, yes, he is an amazing player, but 
If you're a diamond player and you want to get masters, use this as the inspiration. Oh, well, not this part. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 Imagine we double charge this guy out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I mean, I hit my shot. Wait, I don't know what that's going to do. Yo! Oh. Yeah, cue him, cue him, cue him. Once again, he still has positioning here that the curvature of that building allows you to just always stay safe. You know? Oh my. Dude, get me out, man. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, you can check his what's in uh, on screen. I think I'll probably re it's over here somewhere. I don't know. You, yeah, he'll probably release a new video soon with an even crazier challenge. But anyway, it's cool. Cool learning experience for sure. Cheerio.